In this video, I'm going to be talking quite a bit about how you work with the customer. So when someone asks you to do a mural, you don't know that person. You don't really know what's in their mind. So when they say they want their wall covered with flowers, you don't really know whether they're thinking of something abstracted, something that's impressionistic, something that maybe looks like pop art. So the first thing you have to do is really to have an exchange of images. Show them things you've done, show them your style of working and get their response and ask them to find images to show you as well. So I'm here in Chingford and I'm in the middle of uh, quite a big mural project in a restaurant which is going to open in about three weeks time. Tip two, be practical and realistic. Make sure you've got the right equipment. So I just recently bought this nice brush. It's a really good quality brush. Um, and I can tackle any two meter height wall, maybe three meters long, um, and feel confident that I'm gonna be able to achieve that mural. Think about how long it takes you to do a design, um, how long it will take you to actually paint it and finish it properly. So be a realistic and, and quote for your job accordingly. And the restaurant is called uh, Green 17. And so the restaurant owner wanted a whole series of motifs in the space around the theme of uh, green. Number three is to paint your design boldly. So you've done your design, you've agreed it with the customer and you approach the wall, you square up the wall uh, and you need to paint it with some gusto. It needs to be strong and robust and be engaging for the audience. Uh, one of the first ideas that the owner came up with was a green man. And here is the figure that I have actually finished. My experience has been that a mural takes some time to achieve. So um, you might set yourself a day to paint a section of a wall or to paint the whole wall that you've been asked to do. And you really need to keep your customer engaged and on board with the process uh, because uh, as, as you know painting uh, you can go through various stages of achieving a painting and it can look uh, a bit ropey to be honest at certain stages so you need to keep the person on board and say well it's not finished yet but you also need to listen to them because they might have spotted something that you haven't seen they might say, oh, I think that section needs to be bolder or, uh, you know, oh, let's have um, a, a jumping fish coming out of the water over there. Uh, and so there's no harm in being flexible at the stage of actually painting the design. We're going to write some words on here. We're going to write Epping Forest on here because we're quite near Epping Forest. And so as I show you more of these motifs, you'll see that we're referring to the local area, but also to the idea of fresh cooking and the use of green vegetables. In fact, what we've done then is we've added to this image uh, one or two other images which are more like work in progress. As the project draws to a finish, make sure all the elements of the mural have artistic control and depth of expression. Tip five is to complete the project on time and within budget. So as you begin to finish the mural, pace yourself and make sure that you're gonna finish at the end of the day. You might need to do a few extra hours and the customer will be pleased if the mural looks terrific but also you haven't charged more than your original quote and they will pass you on to other people and you'll get good 
word of mouth, which will bring in new jobs for you. Thank you.